So we're going to look at circuits again, but this time we're actually going to look at something we've talked about in the past, um, probably covered in Physics 1, but we're going to address it specifically to circuits this time, and that's the idea of power. Now we're going to start off by considering a simple circuit where we have a power supply, a voltage source, some wires connected to a resistor in which the current will flow. We're going to ask the question, if we have some resistance, like a light bulb, how much energy is being uh, consumed by this light bulb in a given amount of time. In other words, how much power are we drawing in this circuit? I will recall that energy is equal to, or power uh, is equal to, the energy per unit time. And again, just for review, power is, e is measured in watts, and one watt is equal to one joule per second. Now there's a couple different ways we can express the power in this circuit. And the first is a very common one. It's the power is equal to the current flowing through the circuit times the voltage drop. Another way we can express this is that the current squared times the resistance in the circuit. Or we can look at the voltage squared divided by the resistance. And all three of these are the same exact thing as long as we, um, or we can get to these by using Ohm's law. Now to understand why this equation, this P equals IV, comes about, we can look at the express expression for the energy in a circuit. And the energy we saw before is the, the energy is given by the charge times the voltage drop. So if we have a change of energy, it's equal to the voltage change times the current, or times the charge. Now we're going to take a derivative of both sides. And when we take a derivative, a uh, derivative, if you don't remember, haven't learned it, is nothing more than just asking how fast does a quantity change. So in this case, we're going to look at the energy. We're going to ask how much does the energy change in a certain amount of time. We'll call that the derivative of u with respect to time. And we'll see that the change of energy in a unit time is given by the change of the current in the same unit time times the voltage. And we'll notice that we just said that the change of energy in a unit time is nothing more than what we call power. So the change in the unit time will give us our power, and the change of the uh, charge in a unit time, how much is the charge moving in a certain amount of time, that's nothing more than the definition of current. So we can see P is equal to IV, the power is equal to the current times the voltage is nothing more than the change of energy with respect to time times the change of charge with respect to time times voltage. We get that equal sign in there. So we can see, again, we reconstructed our equation back here. And as I said, these other two we can get from Ohm's law.